Hello everyone, my name is Vos Józef and I am Mr. Musette. Those of you who follow my art you might know that I already illustrated a few books and magazines, but I think that never it's enough to exercise and experiment with book illustrations, because there you need to stay true to a text and try to illustrate what the writer put in words. So I decided to exercise and experiment more with the book illustrations in my free time as well and I will start with two books. One of them is The Tales of the Peculiar by Riggs and the second one is the origin of folk and fairy tales by the Grimm brothers. Before to start telling more I want to give credits to the cutest voodoo who is also an art YouTuber and creates illustrations based on the Green Brothers stories. So she inspired me to do this. I will link her channel in the video description, so go check her out after this. Back to the books. These two books are somehow similar because contain short tales which are not ending in all cases too happy but you should learn something from each of them. For the first illustration I started with a tale from the Tales of the Peculiar book. This book is part of the Miss Peregrine book series if you might don't know and are short stories about peculiars. The first story title is The Splendid Cannibals in which is about travelers with money and a village of peculiars with the ability to regenerate limbs. I don't want to give too much spoilers about, I want to motivate you to read all these tales. Shortly the travelers with money are the cannibals which are buying the peculiars villagers limbs and somehow this part I try to include in my illustration. For the details and the end of the tale you need to read it. At the beginning when I started to sketch out my idea I really struggled with the composition. I knew what I want to illustrate but none of the compositions were as I imagined. I wanted to illustrate well the story but in the same time to have an end result which could be an independent illustration. You can't see the sketching struggle in the video because I didn't film it, but I promise that I am preparing only a sketching video separately for a different illustration. That video is already in progress, but I need to finish some stuff for it. So soon that one will be on my channel too if you are curious about my sketching process.
For this illustration, first I used waterproof fine liners as all those times when I plan to paint with watercolors. The watercolors are some autochton Romanian watercolor which are really cheap. The price for these are around $1 and are used by a lot of Romanian artists for sketching. The good thing about these watercolors are that are very pigmented and opaque, but they contain a lot of Arabic gum, which is really good because the colors are not chalky, but if you don't add enough water to them, they could dry very shiny and sticky on the paper. And that was my number one mistake in the past whenever I was using these watercolors. But now when I played more with different watercolors, I realized if I dilute enough the colors, I can get a nice even coat and I can layer the colors as many times I want for the shadows. Of course is a big difference between a professional watercolor and this, but you get the idea what I want to underline here. If you have only one dollar and you want some watercolors to play with and you are from Romania, you can get this one. For the colors, I wanted to go with a very limited color palette. This is why I used mostly purple, browns, yellow and for the background black. At the end I added in the background some white stars with the uniball gel pen. For the next illustration I will illustrate a Grimm Brothers fairy tale. So subscribe to the channel for that one and for more future similar projects. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and do not forget, life is a song, illustrate it.